Hey guys, thanks for joining us to Live and Play Games. My name is Lance, and today we're taking a look at a gameplay video for Shalia Warring States. This is a brand new game from Bad Comet that is currently on Kickstarter. And in this video, I'm going to take you guys through a full game. We're going to be playing Overwhelming Power, which is the third mode in the game. And there's a number of different modes included, as well as a customization mode where you can create your own mode and play however you want. And in this video, I'm going to take you through the first couple, middle couple, and end couple turns so you can see how the game progresses throughout. As always, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Or swing by the Kickstarter's main page and drop any questions you have there. I'm sure he would love to hear from you guys as well. If you enjoyed this video, if you like what I do, please consider that like button and subscribing to my channel as it really does make a big difference and helps me to continue to grow and be able to bring these games to you guys. And if you want to stay up to date on all my videos, also consider ringing that bell so you get notifications anytime I release new content. So let's head to the table and I'll show you how this game plays. Before moving into the game, I want to mention again that all of the materials that you see on here are just prototype materials. None of this will represent the final product that you'll receive after backing the game once the production is done. From there then, moving into the game, I've chosen to play the third mode, which is Overwhelming Power. The objectives of this mode are to destroy your opponent's palace by dealing 12 damage, or to gain a culture score of 18 or more, or to build three wonder cards on your territory. Now each player is going to start with 5 gold and 2 character cards. And the character cards are unique cards that will allow the player to have some sort of a special ability when they choose to use that card. Some of the cards will be able to be played into the player's territories. Other cards are going to be played once for their instant effect. And any player can play them at any kind of time during their turn. Now they can also choose to sell a character card for 4 gold during their turn at any point. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start. So our player over here is going to start the round, and he is going to start with his purchasing phase. So he's going to spend one gold to buy a level one building. He's got a blacksmith. Go ahead and do it again. He gets a farm, and one more time. And a barricade. So that's all he wants to purchase this turn, so it'll move over to our other player to do their purchasing phase. And that other player is going to pretty much do the same thing. He's going to spend gold and get some buildings from the level one. And one more. Back over to our player over here to enter the building phase. So he's going to go ahead and build a farm. And let's go ahead and build a blacksmith. Over to our first player here, he is going to go ahead and build the farm. He's going to go ahead and use his character card, the alchemist, and this lets him build it immediately. And then this one, if we place a die in there, based on the number we place, we get something. And let's go ahead and build a school. Moving over to our first player here to roll their dice for their action phase. Four, five, and six. Oof, not very good. All right, so let's go ahead and spend that to get two officers. And then we'll spend one of the officers right away to reduce this down to a three. And then use it there to gain three gold. And then we'll just spend this one here to gain two additional gold. All right, back over to our player here to roll. Two threes and a five. So he'll go here and gain a mineral. And then he's just gonna go in the first two slots and get four gold. All right. At that point, then both players get to move their dice off. And the first player mark will be passed to the next player, so it'll be our player over here to take the first part of the turn with the purchasing phase. So again, he's going to go ahead and purchase a couple level one cards, so he'll just spend two gold and get two cards. So we've got another school and a blacksmith. And then he's going to go ahead and spend his mineral to get to two officers. All right, and then it'll move over to our other player to do their purchasing. So that other guy is going to do the same thing. He'll spend two to get two new cards. Infantry and a farm. All right. Back over to our first player to do their building phase. And so let's go ahead and build another school and this blacksmith here. All right. That's all he wants to build. So we're back over to our player over here who is going to go ahead and build this other farm and the infantry units. Back over to our player here to roll. A 
five and two ones. All right. We'll spend one officer to increase the one to a two to gain three gold. We'll go ahead and use the five to gain a mineral. And this other one we'll spend down here to get two more officers. Okay. Moving over to our player over here, he's gonna go ahead and roll. That's a lot of high numbers. All right. So, hmm. We'll do this to gain three gold. And then we'll go ahead and do this to get two officers, which we're going to spend right away to change this into a two to use on our infantry and attack the alchemist. And the alchemist only has one hit point, so it'll be eliminated from that player's area. And then our player over here gets one gold for the loot from destroying that opponent's card. And that will end his action phase. So again, we're going to clear the dice. And this will pass to the next player. From here, I'm going to go ahead and take a couple turns off camera, and we'll come back in a few turns. So to recap real quick, our player over here has chosen the role of combat as he's taken a couple of infantry units and already started knocking out a couple of the other players' buildings. He just took out a farm, decreasing the player's ability to make coins. So really interesting there, and our player over here has not really decided one way or the other which way he's going yet, so we'll have to see what happens. So moving back into the game, our player over here is going to go ahead and start. He's got a pretty good pile of gold over there. So we're going to go ahead and start by spending one of those to gain a level one building. Barricade. He'll go again. With another barricade. And then he's going to spend a mineral to gain two additional guys. That's all he's going to do there. So then we'll move over to our player over here to do some stuff. And he's going to do the same thing. He'll buy a building so another market and one more and another infantry unit okay all right so then we're back over here for the building phase so our player is going to go ahead and build the gym that's going to cost him four and that's all he's going to do there so our player over here is going to go and he's going to go ahead and build a market i think he's going to need to build that infantry unit just to try to help stem some stuff here so all right back over to our player over here for the action phase so we're going to go and roll two sixes and a one. Oh wait so before we do that we have to activate the gym so we'll re-roll these and the gym lets him place an attack token on one of his attack units so he has to choose which one to do before the dice roll so let's go ahead and place it on this one here so now we're going to go and roll a four, five, and two. So let's go ahead and go here to get three gold. He'll spend one officer to bump this up to a three to use it on that one to do two damage to something. So he's going to go ahead and take out his infantry unit so the other player can't attack him back. And then he'll gain another coin for that. And then the four... The four, he will go ahead and use another officer to change that to a three and gain three more gold. All right, over to our other player to go. So he's going to roll two fours and a five. So he's going to go ahead and start getting some culture here. Let's go ahead and get another mineral. And... We'll spend our last officer to bump this up and get another culture. So we're at two. All right, then we're going to clear and move our flag over. And then at the end of the rounds, this token will get removed as well. So again, we're going to go ahead and start with our player over here. He doesn't have any gold for purchasing this round, so he can't do anything with that. So we're going to move over to our other player who's got a fair amount of gold. So he's going to go ahead and spend four of those to purchase an additional die. And that is only going to be good for this action phase. So he's done there. So we're back over to our player over here for building, which right now he doesn't have any gold either to build. So he can't do anything with that. So over our player over there, the one thing our player did want to do over here, he's going to spend one of these to gain a couple officers because those are important to have. So let me do that real quick. Kind of backstepping a little bit. 
So our player over here, again, he really doesn't want to build anything, but he is going to open up a space, so he's going to spend three of those gold to unlock one of his areas. From there, then it is back to our player over here to roll. So a two, three, four this turn. So he'll go ahead and spend one to gain another culture, and he will go ahead and spend an officer to move this up to a four, and go here for a mineral. And then he will come down here for a couple of golds. All right, so over to our other player to roll. Two sixes, a five, and a three. And I forgot to do the token again, so let's go ahead and, and do that. So we'll just go on the same guy here, and then again, we're going to have to roll. All right, a five, six, four, and one. So either way, we're going to have to spend something... So let's go ahead and do an officer again to do that. And again, he's going to choose something. This time he's just going to go ahead and hit the guy's palace. So he's going to start doing damage directly to his palace, which has 12 hit points on it. So it's down by two. Then he is going to gain three gold. He'll go ahead and use this one to gain two more officers. And he'll spend one of those to move this to a two to gain a mineral. All right, so then the die goes away and this goes away. Then we can clear these and clear these. All right, this will get passed up. So again, I'm going to jump off camera for a couple of turns, play through, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so to recap, as you guys can see, our players have been doing a little bit more. Our player over here continues to hammer this guy. He's got his palace down by five hit points. And our player over here went ahead and purchased a port that he used right away to trade in those minerals to get some gold. And he also hired some mercenaries that were able to take out the catapults from this other guy to help try to stem some of that damage coming his way. As our other player has been buying up all the different barricades that have been coming out from the level 1 deck, our player over here really doesn't have a lot of defensive options. So let's go ahead and head back in. Our player over here is going to go ahead and start. we got to clear this real quick. And he is going to... He'll go ahead and spend one to purchase a card. And then he's going to spend these three to get another catapult. He's, he wants to keep the pressure on. All right, and then we have a garden. All right, so then from there, he's not going to do any other purchasing. So we're going to go over to our player over here for purchasing. And let's see. He will go ahead and spend one to buy a level one card. Finally, a barricade. All right. Uh, he'll do another one. And he'll stop there. So moving back over to our player over here for the building phase, he is going to again build that catapult. He needs, to, he wants to keep that pressure on. Moving over to our player over here, he definitely needs to get that barricade up, so he's going to go ahead and do that. He'll go ahead and open up that other locked space on his board. From there, then we'll move back over to our player over here for his action phase. We're going to go ahead and do the gym, so hmm, let's go ahead and do... Two onto that guy again. All right, give it a roll. Six, four, and four. So let's go ahead and start off with the catapults. That'll do three damage to a defensive structure or one damage to another structure. So he's going to go ahead and get rid of that barricade right away. That'll get him a coin for destroying it. And then he's got two fours. So we'll go ahead and use an officer to change this to a five and get three golds. And we'll go ahead and use this to get two more officers. Then we're over to our other player to go. He'll give him a roll. Two, four, and four. So another, he'll go ahead and go to the school for another culture point. And he's going to go here for a mineral. And no point in going to the port yet. So let's go ahead and just head down here and gain two more gold. All right. From there, then we'll go ahead and clear the board. And again, move this over. So our player over here is going to go ahead and start. He'll go ahead and buy another level one card. And he got a barricade, so that'll 
hopefully help him a little bit. And that's all he's going to do. So we'll move back over to our player over here to purchase. He's pretty satisfied with where he's at right now. So he's going to he's going to hold off. So we're moving over to our player over here to do the building phase. So again, he'll build another barricade to just try to stop some of that. And that's all he's going to do. So back over to our player over here. He's going to go ahead and open up his last space down here. And then we'll move back over to our player here to start his action phase. All right, four, three, and six. So let's go ahead and get another mineral. We will, let's see. Let's go ahead and spend the officer to bump this up to a four and do another culture. That's the only thing keeping him going. And hmm, I guess we'll go here and get two more officers. All right, over to our other player to go. Uh, let's go ahead and put it onto that infantry unit this time. We got it. All right. And let's see, how do we want to do this? Don't have anything super high. So let's go ahead and spend an officer. We'll drop this down to a three and use that to take out the barricade. That'll get him a gold. And then we'll spend these two to activate this ability, which does one damage to the other buildings in the front. So he'll do one there and one here. All right, then again, we'll clear the board. Oop. This goes up here, and then our player over here will go ahead and start. So again, I'm going to jump off camera for a couple more turns, and we'll come back in a minute. All right, jumping back in, our player over here is going to go ahead and start us off. So for purchasing, he's going to go ahead and purchase. First, he's going to spend one to clear our field here, see if he can find something better. Oh, there's another catapult. Oh, it's a war elephant. Holy cow. So we have a wonder out now, so that's that's really huge. And he's going to go ahead and spend three to go ahead and gather that up. He's going to try to start working towards getting that out. So again, we'll fill up. All right, from there, then he is done. So we'll move over to our player over here to go. He is not going to purchase anything. He's running a little low on resources here, and his palace has taken some pretty good damage. So he's not going to do anything over here to our player for building. He doesn't have anything to build, so again, we'll move over. we got to clear this token. And uh, he doesn't have, a f well, he'll go ahead and spend one to build his infantry unit. Maybe he can start plucking off some guys, maybe. And then we're going to back, back over here for a roll. Two threes and a two. So he's going to spend one to start getting those minerals to build that war elephant. And then he's got a couple of threes. And we forgot to put a token down again, so I'll just put it back on the four that was on there last time. So he's gonna go here to gain three golds. And he'll go here and do one more damage to the palace. So our palace is looking a little rough. All right, back over to our player over here just to roll for him. A five, six, and three. So we'll go here to gain a mineral. We will, hmm. Spend one to bump this to a four and gain another culture point. I think that's the only way he's going to be able to pull off here and get a victory if he if, if we can get him up there. And the five to do a damage. So he's going to go ahead and do one damage to... Let's go ahead and do a damage to the blacksmith. And the way then he can potentially stop him from getting that war elephant out. All right, so then we're going to clear. This will move, and our player over there will start us off. So our player over here is going to go. He doesn't have anything to purchase at this point, so he's going to pass on that. So our player over here. Uh, no, he's not going to do anything either. He's not going to purchase anything. So back over to our player over here to build. He, again, doesn't really have anything to build at this point in time. So over to our player over here. Again, he's not going to build, so we're on to the action phase. 
All right, so we've got another culture point coming. Let's do that. And we'll spend this to get an officer. So we got to move that up. So we'll get a pair of officers. And we'll go ahead and spend those right away to boot, doing this to a five to gain another mineral. All right, uh, so we're over to our player over here to go. And again, I forgot to put the thing down, so we'll just keep it there. We do have a four this time, so he's going to go ahead and spend that to do two more damage to the palace. So that will bring us up to nine points. Palace only got three hit points left. Looking a little rough here. He's going to hit it again for two, bring it down to two hit points. And then the four, he will spend an officer to change that to a three and gain three gold. All right, then we'll go ahead and clear our fields. And our player over here is going to start with purchasing. He's going to go ahead and purchase another die this turn. Add that to there. Let's go ahead and clear this this time. And then he's going to pass it over to our player over here who doesn't have anything to buy, but he is going to use his character card, which is going to let him gain three life tokens immediately that he can apply. So he's going to go ahead and heal the palace three points. Hopefully keep them alive a little bit longer. And then we're back over here for per, uh, the building phase. And our player over here isn't going to build anything either. So moving back over to our player over here to build. Doesn't have anything that he really wants to build at this point. So over here for our player to roll. We got to take care of our gym. So let's go on to the three. And he got it. So he's going to go ahead and do that to continue hammering on this guy so he's up to nine again and hit him again for ten oof getting real close he will gain three gold and let's go ahead and spend our officer to get this to a two to get another mineral all right, over to our player over here to go. A one, two, and five. So let's see, what do we want to do? Let's go ahead and spend the one to gain some officers. And then we need to, we need to heal our palace somehow. Let's go ahead and go to the market or the port and use that. So that will let us do two trades. So we're gonna go ahead and first sell our minerals. That'll get us nine gold. So there's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine gold. And then we can do one other action there. So we could purchase a level one card and get a barricade. So that might be a good option as it'll be our turn to go next, so we'll be able to build a couple barricades beforehand. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and trade. We can do a maximum of two. So we'll go ahead and spend two gold to get two barricades from the level one deck. So there's one and two. So that'll hopefully buy us a little bit of time to do something. So we'll go ahead and put those here. And then we still have this five. So let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and do a damage to the blacksmith and wipe that out. Oop, should have been up here. All right. So then we're going to get a gold for that. And that is the end of that turn. So we'll clear these and the token. And this will move up. So our player over here is going to go ahead and start us off for purchasing. And. Hmm, let's see. We've got some gold, but we do want to be able to build some stuff. So we're not going to buy any cards this time. So moving over to our other player over here to go. He will purchase a couple of cards to see if he can get himself another blacksmith. And he's got two markets. So he could buy a market and go to the market and buy something. So he's going to hold off there with that. And our player over here for building he's going to build the two barricades get those up to give him a little bit of time and then he's going to go ahead and buy the ranch so that's going to cost him five 
uh, as well so he can get some more gold going there. All right, so our player over here is going to go ahead and build one of those markets. So, well, let's go ahead and build the bigger one, up, or the higher number one. With that, and that's all he's going to do. I'll return this. All right, and so then we're back over to our player over here for the action phase. So he's going to go ahead and roll. Two threes and a six. So let's go ahead and do that to get some officers. We'll go ahead and spend one officer to change this to a five and get six gold. There's three, six. And we'll spend the second one to change this to a four to gain a culture point. So that'll put them up to 12. Over to our other player to go. Nope. Let's do the gym real quick. So we'll put it on the four this time. Maybe we'll get some high numbers. Really high numbers, not what we were looking for. So he got lucky this turn, so we'll go ahead and spend this to get a couple of officers. And then, let's see, to buy, it's going to cost us two gold. So let's go ahead and change one of these with an officer to a five and go to the market. And then we'll spend four gold at the market to get two minerals. So that'll get us close to getting that war elephant up. And then... What can we do with this? Let's go ahead and change that as well to another five and get three gold. Dumping a lot into that wonder. All right, so then we're gonna clear our field and move over here. So let's go ahead and continue our player over here for buying. He's not gonna buy anything. He's gonna save it for that war elephant. So our player over here is gonna go and let's go. He's going to spend a gold to clear the fields. He doesn't want any of those combat cards in there. Give that player any other options for getting big nasty cards. And a fortress. Wow, very nice. So he is going to go ahead and spend three to buy three level one cards. Actually, let's just do two. And that will allow him to trade those in and get that fortress to hopefully help out with this. And another war elephant. Oh boy. All right. So then we're going to move back over here for purchasing. So right away, our guy is going to spend the four golds and four minerals to build that war elephant. So that, that's going to cause a lot of trouble. Over to our person over here. He does not have the requirements yet to be able to build this. So he's going to have to try to scramble and do that. All right, so from there, then we're back over to our player over here for rolling. And let's go ahead and put this on. Oop, we got that down there. So let's put it on the three this time. All right. Five, five, six. Oh, so we could do his big hit right here right away, but it has to go on one of the barricades. So that would be a complete waste of our points. So let's go here first and get some gold. That'll get us three. And then we'll put one on there. Uh, yeah, put one on there to do two damage. That'll take care of one of his barricades. And the six will go and get two officers. All right. Our player over here is going to go then. And he's going to give it a roll. See what he gets. A four, six, four. So not bad. All right. So we'll do that for the culture. Continue to move up on, on our culture. Five, six. So let's go ahead and trade for an officer. And then bump, spend one of those right away to bump this down and get some gold. All right. So there's four and six. All right. So again, we'll clear our fields and start again with our player over here. So our player over here is going to go ahead and go. He is going to, uh, I don't know if I really want to buy anything. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hold off there and not buy anything yet. So our player over here for purchasing, he's not going to purchase anything either. Back over here for building, our player doesn't have enough yet to build that. So over here, our player is satisfied with what he has, so he's not going to build anything. So we're back over with the action phase. A one four four. 
All right, so again, let's go ahead and gain another one. And then we've got a one and a four. So let's go ahead and bump this up and trade. And then we'll go ahead and buy some minerals. So it's going to cost us, we can do a maximum of three. So we can buy three for six. So we'll do that. And then is there anything else we can do at the moment? We can hire assassins. That's not really going to help us too much. We could hire a couple of mercenaries and take out another one of those infantry units. We got two, four, five gold remaining. Why don't we do, we'll do two mercenaries and we'll put it on the war elephant. Let's see if we can start working on getting him out of there. And then we've got one die remaining. So we'll spend that to gain some officers. All right. From there, then uh, we'll move over to our player over here to go. And we're going to put the token onto this guy. A 335. All right. So let's see. We'll spend one to change this to a four. And that will do two damage to this barricade, taking that out. So our player is defenseless again. And then we will do we'll do that and do two damage to the player's palace. And that'll finish him off. That is 12 hit points. So that will end the game immediately. And our player was close. I mean, we were we were only a, a few points away from getting those those cultures. So the game could have gone either way. And if our player would have been able to get that fortress up, that would have been a big, big shift for him. So I hope you guys found that video helpful. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please do those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Or swing by the Kickstarter's main page, drop any questions you have there for them as well. I'm sure they would love to hear from you guys. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos and leave me feedback on them. I do really appreciate it and I try to take into account everything you guys say to make the best possible videos. And if you like what I do, if you like these videos, please also consider that like button and subscribing to my channels. It really does make a huge difference helps me to continue to grow and be able to bring these games to you guys. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.